So a long time ago, I, I did a photograph for a modeling and it said corporate identity. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Um, so I've been working at the Kroger Corporation and I want to report what I've seen. Um, very smart, like a school, a school teacher works there extra hours. Um, artists work there. The managers don't make that much money. It's very stressful because if we mess up, it falls on their shoulders. So they're all over the street. Very stressful especially in a, a poor Kroger where people do steal things. And I don't think they steal things because they have so much money. They're not like Winona Ryder with the movie star problem she's got. Um, these are really poor people. Or addicts if they steal alcohol. And so what I'm requesting from Kroger is to disclose where your money goes, how much to the farmers. We need to know. We need a report of what your overhead is and we need to report what your gains are. Each store with also each store has that information about what kind of money they're making. I don't think anybody loves going to work when they're not paid enough but they feel like they have no choices because they may not be skilled in many things. Um, so we could train them at the corporations to be better employees and make more money and stay with the corporation. Obviously, managers of, co of large corporations, grocery stores, things like that, Walmart, the managers get company cars. Do you want to keep this person happy and health? It's, it's about health. When you're stressed and you're poor, this person's probably going to die sooner. And... Um, you feel because our population is so high that we're expendable. But that costs you a lot. Every time someone quits, you have to train someone else. I get a better job. I had gotten a job at um, Golden Corral in Farmington, New Mexico. I didn't want to do it. And I quit. I didn't do it. I went and I was teaching kindergarten, which was equally or worse nightmare, according to. They were feeding these little kids rotten food, rotten milk. I quit. I said, I can't. Well, how can you get away with this? The government's so poor, you can't give these Native American children sweet milk. Um, we all have a consciousness. And if you lose yours, like Trump, what is he? Who is he? Why does he even come onto my TV screens? I feel like Dave Matthews and Tom Waits, Edie Brickell, and the Talking Heads all at once. People, open your heart. That's a song, too, Open Your Heart. Oh, that's a Madonna song. I love Madonna. Oh, uh, Ray of Light. That's how it feels to be manic. I, was, I looked at her skinny little body, and I said, who did your work? I want to go, too. But um, the Ray of Light, that's a, when I see that, I think of my happiness and my mania before it goes south and I get all the anger. Um, that, to me, like when I started working in gold, I said, this is a renaissance. We're, we're going to have a golden age, like the Bible. Um, and maybe that's a symbolism I choose on purpose. But we also sent the guy way out in the universe. I'm not sure I want to understand the universe. I like some mystery. I don't want it to be. I do like science. <laughs> but is it all measurable? Is, is science energy? Like when I was talking to this lawyer, and he said something about God. And I said, metaphysics? And uh, so we started talking about electron energy. I said, what, what is the energy force that holds these things together in an atom that you split? Um, the energy we can't see that we don't know about. And that's where spirits lie, in my mind. You don't have to listen to me, but things in my life have physically moved and happened from metaphysics. It doesn't make any sense. So, um, okay. Let's go, people. Let's build this school. I'm not angry. I'm, anytime something happens to me, I want to get down to the root of it, which is my flower, my blossom, the blossoming of philosophy and arts and our beautiful children, artists of the next generation, and the roots, getting the roots healthy. You have to have healthy roots. And what does that take? Sometimes it takes medicine. Sometimes it takes psychological counseling. But it's in everyone. I don't care if you're a prostitute. I don't care if you've been pedophiled as a child. I do care, but I'm saying that we can get past this. Everything, and I have even seen pedophilia on the internet of people that say that they were pedophiled as a child, and they form this little community 
to talk to each other, but they live without sex. They don't, because the continuation, we all have that in our families, but hopefully not everybody has a pedophile. Thank God I didn't. Um, but yeah, at least they have community for humanity to stop them and hold them accountable and admit it. This is an issue with me. It happened to me when I was three. I don't remember it, but it has changed my life forever. I don't think rehab is possible, but community is. And um, I want jails to be almost eradicated by 2030 in the United States when the message gets out to people. And we've, we interview and we find out what they're good. They don't even see it because a lot of them don't know how to read and their parents don't know how to read. So how do you find the gift if you're blind? We don't want Bruegel's blind following the blood. We want people that are smart and knowledgeable making our policies in the United States. So I vote Jay Paul for president. Thank you.